Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 9. The problem says that a circular C wall is made of concrete. Determine the total weight of the wall if the concrete has a specific weight of 150 pound per, per feet cube. So as it is given that find the weight and the specific weight gamma C is the weight per volume. So we want to find the volume. We want to find the weight, right? So let me write this is uh, gamma C. This is equal to weight divided by the volume. So to find the weight, we need to find the volume of this concrete wall, right? So gamma C into V. So to find the weight, we need to find the volume and then we will take, we will multiply it with this gamma C, which is the specific weight. So that will give us the weight of this concrete wall, which is made up by uh, revolving this cross-sectional area for an angle of 50 degrees. So this is the application of theorem of pop, uh, theorems of Pappus and Guldiness, and we will use the second theorem of Pappus and Guldiness. So if I draw the cross-section, if I draw this cross, uh, cross-section, so it will look like this. And if I draw a line, so we can divide this cross-sectional area into two shapes. So one is a triangle and the other one is rectangle. So if I draw, first of all, if I draw the, the axis about which this cross-sectional area is rotated, so this is our axis and the distance of this end or this corner from this axis, from this axis is 60 feet, right? So let me put this here. This is that same axis and the this distance from here to here, this distance is 60, which is given. And similarly, uh, this length, this is given there that this is 8 feet. All the units are in feet, so I will write this is 8. And similarly, uh, if and th this is given that this is 15. So 15 minus this 8, so this length is 7, right? The base of this triangular area is 7. So if this is 7, then the distance of at uh, this point or this dash line from that axis is, is 67. So let me show that as well. So this length, this is 67, right? Let me show it here. This is, this is 67. Now to find the volume, uh, we need to apply the second theorem of Pappus and Guldiness, which says that the volume is equal to theta multiply by the summation of r tilde times the area of each segment. So to, to apply this equation, we have to build up a table. So we will write the shape number, or uh, let's say uh, we have divided this uh, cross section into two segments. So one segment is triangle and the other one is uh, rectangle. This, let's say this is segment two and this is segment one. So we will write the number of the segment. So segment one and two. Then we will find the area of each segment. So the area of this triangle segment one is one divided by two and its base is seven and its height is 30 feet. This height is 30 feet, which is given. So I will multiply it with 30. So let me find this. This is one divided by two. 30, 30 divided by two is 15. So 15 into seven. 15 multiplied by 7, this will give us the area of 105. So the area of that triangle is 105 and the units will be in feet square since this is the area, right? So the units are in feet square. Then we will find the perpendicular distance of the centroid from that uh, axis of revolution. So first of all, we have to locate the centroid of both the segments. So let's say that the centroid of uh, uh, this triangular segment will be somewhere here and as we know that the distance of the centroid from this apex from this apex this distance this is always 2 divided by 3 of this length so this length is 7 so this is 2 divided by 3 times 7 so we know that from here to here from here to here this length is 60 and then from here to here, this length is two third of this seven, right? So the location of the centroid of this triangle will be uh, 
from here to here so this will be equal to this 60 so let me write that this will be 60 plus two-third of this length right from this apex the centroid of a triangle is two-third of this length and from this end that will be 7 divided by 3 divided by 3 that is one-third of this base right so 60 plus 2 divided by 3 into 7 so this is the perpendicular distance of the centroid of this segment 1 from that axis of revolution so we will write that this is 60 plus 2 divided by 3 into 7 and the units of this is in feet similarly we will take the product of this uh, centroid, centroid distance from the axis that is r tilde with the area so we will we will multiply both of these values so 60 plus uh, 60 plus 2 into 7 is 14 divided by 3 so that gives us uh, 64.667 so this is 64.667 and the units of this will be feet cube since the unit of this is feet and this is feet square so it will give us feet cube similarly the uh, segment 2 the area of segment 2 is 8 multiplied by the height which is 30 so that is 8 into 30 so this will give us 240 and then uh, its centroid will be at its geometric center so its centroid will be somewhere here and the distance of the centroid of uh, this rectangle from that axis of revolution this will be its r tilde and this r tilde will be equal to uh, this 67 distance plus this so 67 plus this so this will be the half of this 8 right so this is 4 so this will be uh, 67 plus 4 so that will give us 71 so this is 71 so I will write that the r tilde for segment 2 for the centroid of segment 2 from the axis of revolution is 71 feet and now we will multiply this so that is 71 into 240 uh, we can say that it is 71 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 30 so that will give us 17040 so 17040 and and this this is this is equal to 64.667 i have written it here but it is not this is 64.667 and then we have to multiply it with this right so 64.667 multiplied by 105 so 64.667 multiply by 105 that gives us uh, 6790 this is 67 approximately this will be feet cube now in this formula we require uh, we need to find the sum of both of these right so the sum of the r tilde times area product so that will be this plus this so we need to add up 6790 plus 17040 so this gives us 23830 so this is 23830 the units are feet cube and now we need to put that in that in this equation which will give us the volume which is generated by revolving uh, this cross section for an angle of 50 degrees and remember that in this equation we need to use the theta value in radians so we are given that in degrees so 50 degrees and now we know that 360 degrees is always equal to 2 pi radians so we have to multiply it by 2 pi by 360 and multiply by this product so this product is the summation of the products of both the segments is this 2383 so this is 23830 so this will give us the volume so now that is 50 multiply by 2 pi divided by 360 multiply by 23830 so this gives us 20795 20795.0 and that is 59 so it is approximately 0 0.60 and this will be in feet cube since this is the volume this is the unit of feet cube and this is radian so that is volume is in feet cube now we have to find the weight of the concrete wall so this is the formula so we have to write that the weight is gamma c which is 150 pound per feet cube multiply by the volume which is 20795 
0.60 the units are feet cube so feet cube will cancel out and we will get the answer in pounds so we will multiply this answer with 150 that will be the weight so this is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is 3.12 3.12 into 10 raised to the power 6 pound weight of the concrete wall. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you are here for the first time.